Tennessee Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, it looks like a cloudy and increasingly wet period ahead, not only over the next four or five days, but over the next week to 10 days, maybe more. Hopefully we'll get this all straightened out in time for Mardi Gras, but we'll have to wait and see. First off, let's take a look at uh, Justin Tarot getting our weather shot earlier today. We had lots of clouds, but a little sun poking through those clouds around midday, but clouds wound up winning out and we do have sprinkles across the area with mostly cloudy skies right now. So. Let's set the stage for what's going on as we take a look at the upper level jet stream pattern at about 30,000 feet where there's more than 100 mile an hour winds. That's where you're going to see uh, the areas in white and the upper level pattern and we'll show you the rain and storm systems. But this is the story over the next week to 10 days. The jet stream uh, dipping well down to the south into the Pacific, picking up that river of moisture coming across Mexico and delivering heavy rainfall to the Gulf Coast and the south central U.S. And then on the north western flanks. You got these storm systems coming out of the Rockies, producing uh, snows from the Rockies into the Midwest and uh, counted uh, three really good looking snowstorms here as well. But the main story is going to be the heavy rainfall as we get into the southeast U.S. and we'll talk a little bit more about that in just a bit. Nationally, you have winter weather advisories, Arizona through New Mexico and then uh, winter weather watches as you get up through the Midwest and then more snow at elevation through the Appalachians and some lake effect as well. And uh, uh, flood watches for areas that could see upwards of 10 inches of rain over just the next seven days. That's mainly north and east of Acadiana proper. Some light showers moving on through the area. That's been the story late this afternoon. Mostly light drizzles, mist, a spit or two out there because we actually have a pretty dry layer below the cloud deck with uh, dew points uh, as low as 30 this afternoon. But uh, with time, the atmosphere will continue to moisten up and I have some pretty healthy rain chances overnight tonight. Most Mostly light stuff with some drizzle mist likely. And then as we get closer to about 2 o'clock in the morning, it looks like we'll see a few periods of rain. I'll go 60% on the rain chances tonight, but then I think we see a little bit of a break going into tomorrow. And we see that on future casts as well with those light rain showers moving to the north. We'll see some showers during the day, maybe some drizzle or mist as a warm front starts making a run for Acadiana. And by late tomorrow afternoon, we're going to be pushing into the mid to upper 60s. And by tomorrow evening, evening, lower 70s an area as an area of low pressure gets cranked up and that's going to produce rain and thunderstorms across the area late tomorrow night into early Wednesday and eventually this frontal boundary becomes nearly stationary and then backs up on us as we head into Thursday. So that's why we're going with 80 90% rain chances for late tomorrow night, especially into Wednesday and then again into Thursday. On top of that, the Storm Prediction Center has us hatched in for a marginal risk of maybe a few supercell thunderstorms. And it's going to be mainly tomorrow night toward Wednesday morning, uh, perhaps damaging winds, perhaps some hail as well. And that severe weather threat might move east, but it may stick around and stay a little bit farther to the west if that front slows down. And it looks like that's going to happen. Here's the RPM model output, the latest model run coming in. And we can count on at least through Thursday mid afternoon, one to three inches of rain, higher amounts as you go farther to the north and east. And that's kind of in line with the European model. But I think both models may underestimate rainfall as we move ahead. This is an El Nino enhanced type pattern. So heavy rainfall and the threat of flooding anywhere you see in yellow coming from central Louisiana, northeast Louisiana, and then into Mississippi and certainly into Alabama, where the model is suggesting better than 10 inches of rain. But this is over the next 10 days. It's not all going to come at once, but repeated days of heavy rainfall. It's going to lead to saturated grounds and then eventually maybe some flooding, especially for our friends off to the north and east of Acadiana. No predictions here of that quite yet, but certainly a soggy pattern. Temperatures tonight, upper 40s, lower 50s. Then tomorrow we rise into the mid to upper 60s for late tomorrow afternoon. We get into the lower 70s, believe it or not, overnight tomorrow night, and we'll be watching the dew points as well. Magic number, get the temperature and dew point near 70, you could have uh, a few severe storms and we might see that as we get toward Wednesday morning and then uh, briefly cooler, but we warm back up as we head into the latter part of the week for sure. So breezy and cool with uh, some light drizzles out there, spits some more rain shower activity overnight tonight, 60% uh, chance of enough rain to wet the ground. Breezy northeast winds making that 51 feel cooler tomorrow. The breeze continues, but it turns towards the east southeast. We'll go 67 for the high during the day, but even 
milder tomorrow night. Scattered showers. I'm keeping rain chance at about 40% uh, for your day tomorrow, but going up to about 70% after midnight tomorrow night and then pushing 90% as we head into Wednesday, 80% Thursday, maybe a bit of a break Friday out ahead of the next weather system that comes in sometime late Saturday. Too early to tell if it's going to be during Rio Parade or overnight Saturday night, so we'll have to watch that. And Friday, maybe a little sunshine to see our first 80 degree reading. Uh, we might see 80 degrees on Saturday as well, but that's a tough call at this point. But we will see temperatures gradually getting warmer and then cooling down and then getting warmer and in between up and down rain chances. So bottom line, keep the rain jacket, a jacket, mm -hmm. uh, an umbrella, okay, and the sunglasses just in case. All yeah. of that. <laughs> And of course, it is festival season, so yeah. getting into the Mardi Gras season, you're going to need the umbrella to catch people. That's right. Turn it upside down. Say, it's, yeah. it, get the two-way umbrella. Both ways, right? It's a two-way. <laughs> just turn it upside down. Very good. Good advice, Rob. Thanks.